Hello there, this is your Nihilist Geek and today we have another writing video for you. We have a new writing series starting. The title for the series is Harmful Writing Advice. Before I begin, uh, thank you very much. This channel has just hit 200 subscribers and I thank each and every one of you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing because we're growing and you want to be following this channel before it hit 300 people it will be a boon to your indie cred. The whole concept is that we have uh, some great writing advice that in fact make you a bad writer if you follow them verbatim and we try to analyze them. And you know why this is happening? Because some writing advice is so ubiquitous. Uh, they're great advice. Um, following them really, really helps your writing get better every time. However, they're so often repeated that they get to be misinterpreted, misunderstood, and often uh, touted as mantras or uh, silver bullets that will save every problem. And they end up creating a lot of problems to any writer following them without understanding them. I know which writing advice you're currently thinking, but I think that for now AuthorTube has a lot of videos about it. So don't leave a comment about this advice. Uh, for the first uh, video in this series, I am going to go with my personal pet peeve, the advice I hate listening to and I hate uh, seeing it used by other people as advice because I think it is actually doing more harm than good when told to somebody who is a new writer or less experienced. And this advice is find your own writing voice. What is writing voice? A writing voice is the writer's writing style. They're not exactly the same, the style and the voice. The style covers things such as the choice of words, uh, the way the sentences are formed, the syntax, the rhythm, the punctuation, but it also covers things that the writer chooses to do. It uh, covers tropes, uh, subject matter, themes, as well as attitudes, personality, experience, the character of the author. It's everything an author chooses to do. Uh, when you have a lot of valid options to write something, the choices you make consistently is your writing voice. For instance, choosing certain vocabulary or the tone in which you write, your the points of view you use, the flow of the text, uh, the way you structure your plots and your storylines, and even if you the way you write, if you you write long books, uh, short books, uh, series, standalones, um, serialized, whatever, they're part of your writing voice. Everything you, you do, and you do different from other writers, it's your own writing voice. And let me tell you something, having a writer's voice is very important because it will make you stand out from everybody else. Uh, it's part of your branding, your writing voice. It's not obvious when you, you know, when you advertise your writing, when you go out and say, this is my book, but if people reading you come to appreciate or don't like your writing voice. So if you have a writer's voice and you have readers uh, liking it, you actually have readers following you in your writing simply because they like your writing voice. I mean, even if you're a hardcore write trend author and you write whatever is popular at the moment, if readers like your voice, they will follow you. For instance, if you write, um, I don't know, a Navy Seal, Sifter, Reverse Harem, uh, Magical School, um, novel because that's what trending at the moment and people read it and like it uh, when you switch to let's say i don't know uh gender fluid uh fairy little pg because that's the next trend uh there are people who have read your previous books and they may as well jump to your next series even though it's not their style because they like you the way you write they like your themes your sentence structure your prose uh, whatever assuming you have a voice and you keep this voice to your next book, that gives you a boost because when you go into a trend, these extra readers will actually boost you higher 
in the rankings and you'll get more sales out of it uh, and i don't speak for uh, authors that have very distinctive writer voices like let's say the gayman where uh, if you like sandman you can go as well to american gods you can go into uh, norse mythology or you can even write read his um his middle grade book about um the father going grocery shopping or something and recall the title right now if you have a writing voice and people like it it pays off and you know it yourself when you like one author and the way he or she is writing and structured sentences and um, the rhythm and all this stuff you're more likely to read another book until you get to a book that is unlike their writing or uh, a book that is not your cup of tea out of your interest or whatever you know that having a writing voice is very important and of course you you have some writers who have weaker writing voices they change from book to book i think that you'll find yourself not being as uh, likely to read their books if they're not your cup of tea for that reason because the voices are not distinctive enough so what's the problem if uh, having a writer's voice is actually making helping you succeed well i've heard a very good definition of a writer's voice and i cannot recall where i've heard this so if you know where this quote is coming from uh, please leave a comment saying it's from there uh, because i like to attribute it to somebody but i couldn't find who said this and this person said that a writer's voice is all the things we do wrong and i think that's um, a great definition and i would actually add that a writer's voice is all the things we do wrong or all the things we could do right but we choose not to do so when you say to a new writer find your writing voice you're basically telling them keep doing things wrong and that's very bad because i've encountered people who have deflected the criticism saying this is my writing voice this is how i write or even worse i've heard people say i don't read other people because they ruin my voice this advice this pursuit of finding your own voice is actually very likely if uh, misunderstood to leave a writer in a state of first development when they don't want to grow they want, don't want to be challenged they're certain they're correct and they just want to stay there and do their thing and they believe this is the way to do it because this is their voice and there is nothing wrong about the writing and that's ugh, very irritating especially when you are in a writing workshop and actually this crossover with my toxic author series but i don't know how i'll um, put these people in there i'll think something when you're in a writing workshop or when you're critiquing somebody publicly in a, you know in amazon goodreads for other readers and they're like this is how i write and you're wrong people love my writing you're wrong and believe me they're professionals who are pretty sure that their own voice is the perfect voice for everything which leads me to something else finding your own voice and writing your own voice makes you less versatile you're setting your ways you have certain ways to write so you never get out of your comfort zone or if not never you seldomly get out of your comfort zone and you suddenly write something different and uh, sooner or later your books if you're following this advice or your stories will come to uh, seem very similar the Plots may be different, but certain things will keep coming up and up. And I think that many creators who have very strong creative voices often fall in the trap that they try to be themselves and their own voice instead of writing the best work possible. I mean, I'm a Doctor Who fan. I have videos about Doctor Who and I used to love what Stephen Moffat used to do. And I also like the first season of Sherlock which he was the show owner but at some point he was so focused on being Stephen Moffat and doing his own thing 
and the stuff that he's held for basically trying to rewrite every episode he did as blink that uh, he lost the plot, he lost his way, it was impossible to follow Doctor Who at some point after season uh, 6 I believe, because he was uh, so focused on his own writing voice that he forgot he was running a show for the entire family. That's something that ruined the show and sometimes a focus on writing voice means that it overrides character voices or story voices. The characters start to sound the same, they sound like the author, regardless of the story, regardless of its uh, genre, regardless of the tropes, keeps coming back uh, again and again into certain uh, plot points that may or may not fit because this is the writer's writing voice and his or her brand and you can see this a lot uh, today, there is a lot of um, emphasis on expressing yourself in uh, fiction or entertainment and oftentimes this destroys the story you're trying to write and sometimes it's more important to find the voice that fits your story or your characters not what is your personal voice your personal brand and finally what i really hate about uh, the advice find your own voice is that it's not an advice it's a criticism in my opinion what you can say to a new writer is you have yet to find your own voice, which is different from find your own voice, because you don't say do that, you say you haven't done that, that. you haven't developed a style that is consistent and that reminds me of you, yourself, you're still trying to imitate somebody else and that's a valid criticism. You know what, when you write a lot when you learn the rules, you experiment, you learn the tools of your trade, the craft of writing, then you develop your own voice or your own by experience because when you have, you have tried a lot of options and a lot of stuff, you find what you like, what works for you and you keep doing it and that's how a writing voice is developed. That's how you find your own voice, by writing, by gaining experience, by being yourself, by expressing your interests, by expressing your ideals, your experience, by using the tropes and the themes that resonate to you personally. That's your writing voice, by finding the rhythm you want to write in, to express how you feel about certain stuff. You return to some things, some tropes, some ideas, some themes, regardless of what you're writing. Assuming you're not a chameleon writing uh, to market, to trend, writing to prescription. Even then, some of your voice will leak into your text, no matter what you do. That's why uh, certain authors write in certain genres or use certain themes, because that's what is interesting them and that is what is attracting them, that fits their voice. Uh, so telling somebody for your own voice is a dumb advice, you have to let them find their own voice, they will find it eventually. That's why I don't like this advice and I would love to hear your opinions. As always, like, subscribe, share this video, leave a comment, do all this kind of stuff and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching.